Hello YouTube, this is Thompson Race M37 bringing you uh, another Model Airport update for the UK Model Airport. Um, so before we get into the uh, sort of you know going through the update itself, um, a bit of a different perspective with this update. Um, I'm currently sat down <laughs> on a chair and um, it's just a bit easier to film in that sense. Um, yeah, I'm, I probably will sort of rotate where I film uh, different perspectives depending on what aircraft we have in and stuff like that. Um, ultimately, as you can see on the far side, there's no background and that's kind of the disappointing part uh, somewhat. Um, I could maybe make the camera go higher so we haven't really got focused on sort of no background uh, and stuff like that. But... Like I say, in an ideal world, uh, if I could have a background all the way around, uh, sort of on the sides as well, that'd be pretty cool. Obviously, got a background uh, at the back. Um, that's more for photography purposes, um, more so than the video purposes. Uh, but let me know what you think. Um, I know last time I did quite a lower down perspective. Uh, I've had to raise the camera slightly uh, just to. Uh, get into uh, a bit of a better perspective uh, kind of so if we uh, actually get into the update now uh, there's a few models in this update to get through so uh, let's uh, take it underway so if we just zoom in on this far side um, we have this uh, Flyb-8 uh, Q400 uh, registration G J E C K. Uh, Operating as B263 and 264 uh, from the two jersey. Um, just want to highlight as well, I uh, should have said this first. Uh, this particular setting is based on uh, the 27th of October 2007. Now you might be thinking why that specific date. Um, some of the aircraft are depicted from real life movements uh, of, of Doncaster, uh, which is the idea behind the date itself. Um, it just gives a little bit more of an illustration as to the time period um, and such like that. Uh, so it's just a bit of information uh, I want to include in each update uh, that we do. Um, I believe the next update will probably come in 2008. Um, I'm not sure every year has an update to go on. Um, but again, the updates will pan out however they pan out. Um, like I say, there's a lot of other movements I'm including. Um, that you may have seen in previous airports um, but uh, a lot of other movements are just kind of uh, more for photography purposes uh, but anyway uh, moving on uh, we have this Thompson Fly 757-200 registration GBYAI this is operating as sorry it came in as Tom 1347 from Alicante uh, in the morning operating that um, now operating uh, ready for the outbound as Tom 2274 and this will be heading out to Lanzarote. Um, absolutely adore this model from NG by the way. Um, if I had to choose models to keep um, out of my entire collection, uh, this alongside the custom Thompson Fly 737 that I have, these would be probably the two models I'd be uh, uh, wanting to keep. Ultimately the, the custom 737 because it's like, you know, um, kind of like a one-off. But ultimately, yeah, uh, the, the actual uh, fleet of Thompson Fly. Um, I'd probably go with Thompson Fly over any Thompson Airways aircraft as well, uh, to be fair. Uh, it just takes you back um, a little bit. Next up, we have a chartered uh, Spanair MD83 registration ECGOM. Uh, this is operating on behalf of Thompson. Uh, operating as TOM three zero five seven and three zero five eight um, uh, from Palma, uh, Mallorca. Um, again, this is another custom model uh, you may have seen before, um, but such a uh, cool uh, classic, uh, f uh, certainly uh, in the airframe and delivery as well. Uh, you know, in the Star Alliance colours uh, that you can see. Uh, as you can see, the Spanair titles just to the front of Fuse Large and the registration just towards the back. Um, if I zoom, uh, zoom out now. Uh, just about to um, depart on runway 02. 
we have this EasyJet A319 registration GEZEJ. Uh, this is operating and outbound as EZY2019 uh, to Faro. Um, then taxiing, um, taxiing past, we have this uh, TNT or Pan Air Linear Arius uh, BAE 146200QT registration ECHDH. Uh, this is coming in as TAY1463 and uh, we'll be heading back out as TAY1464. Uh, destination on the outbound is unknown but inbound from Prague. And then a bit of a classic um, on the ramp, on the main cargo ramp, we have this Air Transport International uh, DC871F registration 828BX uh, operating as ATN243 uh, from Stuttgart and will um, in two days time, uh, bearing in mind we're on the 27th of October in this, um, in this update, uh, 2007, will be departing on the 29th uh, as the following calls, uh, following flight number is ATN two four four. Again, departure destination is uh, is unknown. Um, another model that I absolutely love. Um, lucky enough to have a couple of these come to Doncaster. Not this specific one, I don't think. Um, I think it was N two, sorry, N eight two one and eight N eight two three BX. I think might have come in. To Doncaster, um, if I've got that right, um, but still a uh, nice release by Gemini Jets, and uh, yet again another classic. Uh, certainly don't see many DCH now around nowadays, um, if at all. So uh, yeah, again another one to include uh, as a bit of a throwback, um, and that's pretty much the update. Uh, to be fair, um, like I say bit more bit more traffic I think compared to the last update but again they're not going to be overly busy um, as such um, but again let me know what you think um, yeah, the actual aircraft that were depicted from uh, the movements from Doncaster were actually Thompson Fly 757200 again not exactly that registration and the DCA and the TNT um, the extras like Span Air, the Fly B and EasyJet have just been added in uh, just to include uh, in the, the portion of the updates until we work our way up to like a modern day setting and then we can focus on the actual schedules I've worked out uh, in that sense. Um, like I say, uh, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully you enjoy uh, videos to come. Um, any questions by all means uh, you know ask in the comments um, again likes always appreciated uh, and the reception I've received so far in the comments uh, has been great um, and as always you know I'll be taking pictures of them and sort of moving the models around to give you a bit more of an idea of um, how things uh, you know sort of pan out um, in this moment uh, but until next time, like I said, I think the, I'm not sure when the next update will be. I don't think it'll be that far away. Uh, I think this one actually came a bit sooner than I thought it would have done, uh, to be fair. But yeah, just stay tuned for the next update, and I'll uh, obviously you should see it on your feed, on your subscription uh, feed at some point. Uh, like I say, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.